Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. I am your girl, The Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, if you are new to the channel, a very special welcome to you. I do hope that you hit the subscribe button and join me here more often. I would absolutely love to have you here a part of um, the family. I'm a Cancer. You're only going to find Cancer reading, so because I cater to the Cancer here on the Cancerian Vibe. Um, so definitely join the family, love. Um, you can check out the description box for all the important information that you're going to want to know. How to book a personal reading with me um, or how to connect with me on social media. You guys, I'm on um, like everything. Twitter. Facebook, TikTok, um, and Instagram. I post additional messages on like TikTok and Instagram and sometimes mostly Twitter. So um, yeah, definitely check me out there. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys, but my main tarot channel, of course, I'm going to drop that in the eye. You guys connect with me over there, Boss Lady B Tarot, where I take care of all 12 signs. Um, and I do recommend, you know, watching, um, for uh, like a full overview of your situation or like a full message, I do recommend watching like your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. But if you have cancer anywhere in your chart, these readings or any of the readings I do here on the channel um, can resonate for you. But keep in mind, it's general. So please take what does resonate. Please leave what does not, okay? Um, but yeah, we're going to hop right into it, you guys. You know why I'm here. It's the week ahead reading. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had to get all that out. Um, also, you guys, if you're interested in pick a card readings, I'm going to drop um, the channel where I um, will be posting pick a card readings for you guys. So definitely check me out if that's your thing. But we're going to hop right into it. This is for uh, the week of the 9th through the 15th. Yeah. May 9th through the 15th. Let's see what the overall energy is. Mm. Y'all, the Beware card tried to come out. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting. Um, the B B Beware card tried to flip out, you guys. Um, so I'ma see what comes out in this message, but Definitely. And then with the mountain coming out as the overall energy for this week, Cancer, um, it says, know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. Yeah, there's something, there could be something happening. There could be some type of attack here, Cancer, um, that's happening or some type of challenge that's going on here. And I'm definitely getting the, like, um, I don't know. I went right into like <laughs> protect mode. You know how we are cancer. Like that's the vibe I'm feeling. Like I feel like I have to be on, you know, like my P's and Q's for real, for real. So I'm going to say cancer this week. Stay ready. So you ain't got to get ready. Um, there could definitely be some challenges here, but as I say that at the um, bottom of the deck, um, we have the star card. Um, it says hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. So that lets me know that you'll definitely be, um, you'll definitely get over this mountain. This mountain, you'll either get over this mountain or this mountain will be moving for you here, Cancer. Um, you know, this could be past energy for some. Maybe you've already um, faced your challenges and, you know, you're, <clears throat> your hard times are clearing out but cancer some of you there could be there could be a challenge that you're still facing here maybe you're looking for the light at the end of the tunnel it's a little light it's a star here um and it could be in regards to your finances here cancer and i know that's been coming up in a lot of a lot of the readings and i did a um a actual money and career reading for you on my other channel cancer um but i see like this money tree so i definitely feel like there was Someone was facing um, maybe financial challenges here, but like there's that rainbow. You may have been facing like a storm um, in regards to your finances here, Cancer, but I feel like you planted seeds here and you're about to see the, um, the harvest. Okay, Cancer. But mountain as an overall energy. Let's see what the message is. What message do you have for cancers for the week ahead? 
What message do you have for cancer? You guys are using a new deck. I want my cards to fly out, but it, it is kind of new. Ooh, okay. Wow, y'all. <laughs> It's coming back out, and y'all see how it came out, and y'all see how long it took me to get a car. <laughs> um, look at that. Yes, and Cancer, home at the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you. So, yeah, I'm feeling like the vibe of some of you may still have a challenge to face, but I'm telling you, Cancer, the energy is coming in. Like, whatever, if you are still facing a, a challenge, I definitely see um, your abundance, your prosperity. Like, I see the light at the end of the tunnel here. Um but cancer, wow, we have um, home here. You know, cancers are big on home. Um, I definitely feel like for some of you, um, something could be changing with your home environment, um, your domestic environment. But y'all, I keep seeing these sunflowers. These sunflowers. I don't know if y'all can tell them in the card. Um, but I'm definitely feeling like you're feeling more at home now, cancer. Um, so yeah, you definitely... Face this mountain head on. Give me messages for cancer. We'll clarify a little later. Oh. Give me messages for cancer. So we got inspiration that came out. Inspiration. And I feel like, honestly, cancer, with this inspiration coming out, I feel like what's really going on is this challenge or these challenges that you faced this rough patch, this whatever, however it's resonating for you, it's turned into inspiration. You're using it as inspiration. Um, if you see how it looks up, it's like, yeah, and this inspiration is kind of almost um, focused on this prosperity here. So definitely, it's something, something is inspiring you that is going to, um, to aid in your prosperity here, Cancer. So... Definitely maybe uh, transmuting pain here. Give me a... Uh, let's get one more. Give me messages for cancer. Oh, that was just too many. But look, love. Okay, cancer. Give me messages for... Look, all right. So we got life purpose that came out. So yeah, some of you could be inspired and moving towards working to um, your life purpose. And I see this tree again here, putting down roots. Um, You know, you're... For some of you, your life purpose is connected. Well, no, I'm not saying that. All of you, your life purpose is connected to your abundance. Um, and so I definitely see, look, I see this big moon here, <laughs> but we got courage here at the bottom of the deck. Definitely giving me like the um, strength card Leo vibe here. Um, I feel like you all are taking, look, you've taken this courage, you've transmuted this pain, you've overcome this challenge, you're moving towards your life purpose and being abundantly blessed with prosperity because of it, Cancer. So, um, wow. And then look here. <laughs> so we get the Ace of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. This could be like a new love here in in regards to just, um, you know, a new love for your life. Like you feel at home now, like you have, um, I feel like there's connections that are coming in for your cancer that are going to feel like home. You know, it's just going to be a prosperous time all around um, for love, money, health, wealth, life. But let's see, tell me more about... Uh, Tell me more about prosperity here. So we got the Eight of Cups that came out. So yeah, you guys, um, I feel like with this, because this inspiration and prosperity um, seem, it, it just all is tying together for me. I feel like you've been inspired to make a move, take an action, to maybe leave something behind, to start something new here, can't say. Tell me more about prosperity. You could have been, um, yeah, look, and this could have been a sudden decision here because the tower came out, you guys, but I feel like with this tower coming out, look, you benefit from this tower moment. You're moving into this life of luxury here, Cancer. This nine of pentacles keep showing up for you. Definitely prosperity, um, luxury, independence. I feel like a new sense of freedom, um, because of financial independence here, because you're prospering and it could all be, um, so very sudden and very life-changing here with this tower coming out. 
But I do not feel in any ill ways about it because you are, no matter what it is, Cancer, you are benefiting from this tower. Um, Tell me about inspiration here. See, all right. So, wow, we got the Nine of Cups. You guys, I um, also feel like, you know, you're following your own desires. What is it that you want? What would make you happy? What are your wishes? Um, And that's what's inspiring you to move forward here. We got the Page of Wands with the Ace of Wands. So definitely there could be something, a new journey or a new um, project or something that you're starting out on. Um, can't say that you're really, you know, taking action. You're passionate about starting here. Um, there could be challenges in starting. <clears throat> there could be mountains to climb in this um, with your life purpose here. But Cancer, the um, message at the end of the day is that you're guaranteed you're guaranteed prosperity and positivity um, here. So it's like, no matter what, use, um, stay in this energy, this courage, and face whatever it is. Remain cautious. <laughs> Be aware. Um, and you know what, Cancer? With this page of swords coming out after I said that, um, I feel like cancer, somebody with this page of swords coming out, um, you don't have to watch somebody. I'm feeling some kind of like, maybe somebody is trying to be sneaky, but maybe they're like interested in what you're doing. It's like they're. It's like they got eyes on what you got going on. Or maybe, you know, they're inspired by you here um, with this page of swords coming out. Because um, Cancer, with the magician showing up here at the bottom of the deck, I feel like this is you here making things happen. Having everything that you need here. Um, making your wishes come true. And there could, with that beware energy, y'all, I'm just saying somebody could be like have their eyes out on you. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like a bad thing or whatever. Um, you may not see this person. But let me tell you, this moon card coming out with this life purpose, I'm telling you, Cancer, um, this moon popped out to me in this card. Um, so, you know, for some of you, the with the moon card coming out here, your life, purpo your life purpose could still seem like a mystery to you. Maybe you are just starting down your journey, um, finding your life purpose. Maybe you've just gained some clarity with the Ace of Swords here at the bottom of the deck about who you really are and what you really desire um, and what you were put here on this earth to do. Um and I see you putting down roots here, Cancer. Um, let's see. Tell me more about life purpose. So, wow. So, the three of wands came out, you guys. And I feel like um, for some of you, you might be waiting on trying to figure out what you're like. Some of you may still be lacking and waiting on the kinks to all fall together for um you to operate in your life purpose if that makes sense if you know you know um with this three of wands but i feel like um there's some communication coming in or some good news coming in um with the eight of wands good vibes coming in here cancer um let's see tell me more about uh life purpose here for cancer Yeah, look at, I'm telling you, the strength card came out. I'm telling you, um, stay in this um, energy of courage here. It's definitely, it could be trying because it could have, you could be still waiting on results here with the Seven of Pentacles here. It could have been a long time waiting with the Three of Wands coming out as well. Um, Also, I'm seeing this as some like your life purpose um, could be um, tied to traveling or like moving around here as well. I don't know. I just got that. Um, but definitely, it's like you're finding this inner strength, this love, this true and undying love for yourself here, Cancer, with the strength card coming out. Ow. So definitely, um, the Leo energy is here, you guys. <laughs> Let's see. But yeah, I definitely see this as like self, um, self, like unconditional self love here. 
clarify the tower here. Y'all, yes, the King of Pentacles came out, you guys. And the Eight of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. So, look, I'm telling you, um, with these two eights, you could have been working at something. You could have been working at something and decided to totally switch gears and leave something behind abruptly. Um, and, and, you know, that could cause a lot of chaos because it's an abrupt, sudden change here. But I'm telling you, it's like whatever this decision is, Cancer, it's a money move here because I'm telling you, it's connected to your prosperity with the King of Pentacles coming out. You guys, <laughs> look, it's looking real good. I'm going to uh, clarify this amount, man. Clarify Mountain here for Cancer. Y'all. <laughs> Clarify Mountain here for Cancer. Wow, okay. So the Eight of Swords came out. So this could be just a mental conflict here, Cancer, that's going on this um this week. You could just, you know, be needing to make sure you're keeping your um your vibrations high here, Cancer. When those negative thoughts um come in or um those doubting thoughts come in here, Cancer, especially yeah, it's going to daunt your inspiration here. So it's like um know that you're know that know that <laughs> know that you're protected though here cancer no matter what the situation there could be um you could be trying to uh protect your own self here like protect yourself in the sense that you're too scared to do something because you're too afraid it's like you're too afraid to act i don't know why you're scared here cancer tell me more about this mountain here um yeah see the three of swords tried to come out okay and the Ten of Swords. There could have been, there's, yeah, there may have been an ending that was kind of pain, painful here. So this could be, you know, just coming out of your past energy. Maybe there's still some things to clear up here, Cancer. Um, maybe you could still be mentally stuck in this situation. Um, but the hard time is over. So it's like, it's, um, I ain't going to tell you it's an illusion that you made up, but basically. <laughs> but yeah, look here. And so the Wheel of Fortune right here under that, you guys, the Wheel Turning. Right after this ending, I'm telling you, you end, it ends with the Ten of Swords. It's a painful ending, but it gets no worse. You've hit um, the rock bottom, and now it's time for your wheel to turn and put you, in. it's up, boo, okay? <laughs> it is up. Stay, um, stay courageous here, Cancer, but I'm going to leave. I'm going to uh, pull up Oracle card to close the reading. I'm just call 1818. So yeah, let's wrap this up. Ooh, okay. Wow. So we got um Earth Magic that came out for you. And it's the number one card, you guys. Um, so I'm definitely feeling the vibe of like a new beginning here. And with this opening to discovery here at the bottom of the deck. This key kind of stuck out to me, this opening the key, because that kind of happened in this pre-shuffle before I started, um, you guys. So definitely some of you could be getting answers or um, clarity keys. Somebody could quite literally be getting keys to keys to a house um, or keys to like somewhere that you feel at home. So it could like be an office or some type, um, something where you feel like um, stable here um also with this opening to discovery um i feel like cancer you're you're discovering yourself here you you know you're inspired by who you really are um which is uh, amazing cancer because i feel like you've really really done a lot of uh healing work here and it's showing here and it's coming back you're about to get your blessings back uh, for it but um yeah, it's like you're needing to ground yourself here. And I'm definitely feeling the the sense of your, I feel like um you're planting seeds here. Or either you've planted the seeds and they're about to sprout here, Cancer. Because this um, tree and ground here, it's like that keeps coming up to me. So I see the fruit, your trees. Okay, Cancer. Um, I'm going to leave it for 
reading right there, you guys. Um, I really do hope that it resonated with someone. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, you guys. Um, giving me a thumbs up is a really free and dope way to support me and the channel and help me connect with other lovely cancers like yourselves. So I appreciate you in advance. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm going to leave it right there. Until um, next time, in the meantime and in between time, I love you.